Brian. I've been a trim carpenter for the last 15 years. I've worked behind the saw for countless hours on lots of different saws. And when it comes to speed, accuracy, and safety, the problem isn't always in the saw itself, but it's how you deliver the material to the blade. Now, in order to make an accurate cut, you need to keep pressure on the piece to the blade and the fence. Now, whether you're making a straight cut or a miter, you got to cut your mark, obviously. A lot of times, you got to creep up to your mark. And it's not always easy to push the piece on the miter saw itself. Now, right here, I have a full table with rollers set up. Now, not everyone has a full table like this. You're do-it-yourselfers or your small contractor. Rollers do come in handy as far as the piece sliding. But in an instance like this, you get a piece of wood that's not perfectly straight, which is pretty common. It doesn't always engage the roller, so it's tough to slide on the base itself. Now, when you run into an instance where you have smaller pieces, smaller pieces don't even come close to touching the roller, so you have that problem too. So what I've come up with is a miter flip. It's a miniature roller that attaches right to the base of the miter saw. Now in this case, it's a DeWalt saw. It has an accessory port for crown stops right on the side. If for some reason your miter saw doesn't have a hole, you could simply drill into it. The Rexon saw has dual telescoping arms that come out and has a support and a stop that flips over. So this roller could be easily adapted with dual supports that could slide up and down very easily. All you have to do for the piece, since the piece isn't sliding, lift it up, turn the screw, he slides nice and easily up to your cuts. Now, for some reason, a lot of times after you make your cut, you don't want the piece to slide because you're drilling or coping or notching into it. So you pop it out of the way, you're back to the way you were. Over here, I have one mounted on this side. I made two different sizes. This would be for a larger saw. This is for a smaller saw, so you can leave that one out. But the same thing doesn't want to slide until it hits the miter float, it slides easily. Now the majority of people, this is where they mount their saw. They come back to the ground because they don't always have that set up. I don't always set up a full table because sometimes if I'm making five or ten cuts, it's not worth it for me to bring it out. So I bring the saw right on the ground, on the tailgate, in the yard, whatever. And you run into the same issue. It just doesn't want to slide until it hits the miter float. You can't always set up a roller stand when you're on the ground. So the miter floats, they're an easy solution that mounts right to the base of the saw. Thanks for watching.